Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in on a 10 win streak. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? And we're going to be getting regular old Lazarus. Pretty A pretty dull character, to be honest. But it's not the character that makes the run. It's the items we get along the way and the fun times we have. That sounded like the most terrible thing I've ever said. But we're going to tease up. Do you know what? Chili Bean. What, what is with Chili Bean? It keeps... Honestly, it keeps showing up. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, that is obviously not what I intended to do in any way, shape, or form. Um, I didn't think I'd die, but I did, so there. <laughs> I did, so there is all I'm gonna say on that. Okay, we actually got something out of this dude. We might die really, really, really quickly here. I have to be very, very, very careful right now. It's super, super easy for me to die right now. Um, yeah, I very, very clearly did not mean to do that. Um, I would be very, very sad if we lost our 10 streak to that. But at the same time, we very easily could. <laughs> like, if I get a really hard room here... Or a room that just has enemies that I wasn't expecting, or I get telefragged by something. We are just dead. Uh, Perthro is going to help us out rerolling Chili Bean. Yeah, I, I, obviously I have that thing called Time Machine. Um, crafting bag. Crafting bag is pretty good. Although, wait a minute. I'm almost certain Bag of Crafting crashes the game if you have mods on. So, hmm. I don't really know what to do here. Because I can't... I really should try and reroll it. Also, how can we have two anemics? Did I start with Needon's Blessing anemic? And then get another anemic? I'm really scared I'm going to die now. I can't believe I did that. Like, I was actually intending to die. That was the intention. Um, Because, like, I wanted to respawn as Laz 2. I, however, was not intending to die in this manner or fashion. I really hope we get some health very soon. One thing I'm really hoping for is some bombs here, because that could help out a lot. Right, let's be very careful here. We're going to have to fight the boss without any health, which is really scary, because if I get, like... Basically, if I get Champion Dingle in... The, 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 oh, oh, that's good. The speedy one, or anything like that. There we go. Thank God we got this heart. I actually have a chance now. This is still not very good. This is still not very good. Thank God I got this damage upgrade. God damn. Yeah, if, if I'd have come into here with that other health, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. Guaranteed. <laughs> okay. We're back on the straight and narrow. Right. I'm going to just check. Let's have a look. By the way, does Bag of Crafting still crash the game if you have modded items? Enabled. Installed, even. Right. Let's just see if I get a, get a response to that. But yeah, we got pretty lucky here. So I might as well um, at least take some stuff into my bag of crafting here. And uh, and get ready. Because it only crashes once you craft an item. God damn. That was like the scariest first floor. I mean, it ended up kind of working out. But yeah, Time Machine is... Um, can be a bit scary sometimes if you're... Uh, T um, okay, wait a minute. Let's have a little look. See, someone replied here. Tinted cane and bag of crafting are not broken by item mods, only by items which cause item pool dot x uh, XML entries to point to an invalid item. This can be caused in two ways: adding entries to the item pool that uh, that points to something that's invalid, removing entries from items dot XML that can be temporarily unavoidable when more items are randomly patched into the game. So essentially. It shouldn't crash our game unless modders have not done their jobs correctly. <laughs> Which, honestly, they're not jobs, so I wouldn't blame them for. But also, let's hope that that's not the case. But anyways, on to the question for today's episode. By the way, I do apologise if I repeat questions ever. I'm hoping I won't. But, um, I have, um... I have a backlog of episodes and I don't always remember exactly what I said in the last one. But today's one is going to be... 
Who's your favourite fictional character? Who's your favourite character from a book or, um... Ooh, okay, we're getting close to spun. Uh, from, like, a book or, uh, from a film, from a TV show, from a game. Who is your favourite? I have quite a lot. I think Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2 is probably my favourite. I think he's just an incredible character that just made that game, in, like, even more incredible than it already was. Um... He, he's probably my number one for villain and for just general character in general, so... Um, so let's let's just hope that we don't get a break here. Um, oh, god damn. Gotcha. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, we got some good rooms here. We got some good rooms. Now, if we get flight, we should be able to do some good stuff with bag of crafting in that room as well. I'd gladly pick up some pennies. Do remember that bag of crafting creates items based on the quality of the pickups. So if we just use pennies, it isn't going to be anything great. But an item is an item. So I'm, I'm not going to dismiss it. Also, got diggity damn, my frame rate is so much smoother now after getting rid of, I think it was better doors and... Uh, go ahead with Greeches. Uh, where, where is Greeches? Don't have to pronounce it. I removed those two mods and after that, god damn, my frame rate. It's been saved. It's been brought back to life. Uh, I'm using the, the new backdrops mod as well. That seems to be helping quite a lot too. Okay, getting this creep on the floor here is helping a lot. So I'm going to try and get these guys to step into my web of creep. Please give me another syringe. I'd be so happy. Didn't, but Falgo is really good. Falgo is really, really good. Um, we'll check out this. Do you know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I know that that's not like a high value devil deal, but shop items can be really, really good. Um, and we have a key to get into our shop here. And yeah, I kind of feel like a devil deal run anyways. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Obviously, black card is pretty interesting here. I think I'm just going to keep rolling though. Notched axes. There's a lot of good stuff here. So I think first of all, we have to buy the soul heart. Then we keep rolling. I realize that... Oh, okay. There you go. I don't know if this will even do anything with bag of crafting, but I feel like it's an item that's kind of like a... a catch-all. You've just got to pick it up and try it with everything. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skedoodle, vamoosh, vamoosh. And be on our way to the next floor. Feeling very good about our prospects. But yeah, I'm, I'm wondering when we're going to end up trying out the bag of crafting. We just have to be ready for a crash because it could happen. We're ho like I said, I'm hoping that the mods that we're using don't have any uh, issues with this XML file that could cause uh, crashes. But honestly, you never know. There's, there's various things that could cause issues. I mean, some modders may not even know that they have issues within their mod. It's, it's not really their fault for the most part. Um, obviously, at the minute, we're in a really good spot because Falgo... I think Falgo is maybe too good of a boss item. Like, yes, obviously, it gives you um, it gives you Rotten Hearts, which could be dangerous, but it also gives you two Burn Hearts. I really think it shouldn't give you... Oopsie. The two Burn Hearts. The two Burn Hearts are maybe a bit strong because this is a hell of a lot. Oh, there you go. Spun. And we got all damage ups from that. Nice. Yeah, that was really, really good. Um, but yeah, the burn hearts are really, really good. I can't believe we got spun on th this early. This is so good. Um, it's, it's Yeah, it's very, very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Right, who we got here? Oh, this is going to be a bit of a rough boss, but with eight damage and uh, these flies dealing... Yeah, I was just about to say, these flies dealing double that damage each, I think we'll be okay. Should be good to go for the wall now. Ooh, he went straight in the puddle there. There you go. He's dead. Uh, we do get some more HP here. Good, good. Okay, we're not really getting all too many, uh, all too many consumables here. But let's uh, let's go down to the next floor. Feeling good about this run. We're going for a hush and blue baby on this run. I, as I said before, though, I generally treat my. Um, Treat my my run goal as a as a mere suggestion, uh, rather than anything else. Mm, no, thank you. Um, just because like I I feel like especially when we're on a win streak, I really don't want to be jeopardizing the run by going for a um, going for a boss that ends up 
uh, getting us killed. I will change it up every now and again. And sometimes I may just straight up forget because that's just me. Um... Oh, but t today I'm in I'm in a good mood once again. I uh, I got up and I went straight. Well, I said went straight. I went to Subway, and um, it was uh, it was very very good. I had myself a nice double steak sandwich um, and some Southwest and Galhiri sauce. And oh my god, it just put me in a good mood for the day. Put me in a good mood for the day. Oh my god. Oh, is that a Dominic there? I see. It is indeed. Okay, we should start uh, crafting some stuff now because we can grab some of these like that. There's a bunch of stuff in here as well. So what we're going to do is just to, just to sort of make sure we don't get a, a game crash super quick. Sort of, Well, to so make sure we're safe, we get a game crash. We're going to X out the run, then resume again. So we don't have to redo the whole floor if it does crash. We've got some good stuff in here, though. We've got a battery in there. We've got a pill in there. Um, and we'll take the bomb because we know there's a, a Dormamic. We'll grab that. We'll just see what else we get. But with high luck, this could be really valuable because we'll just be getting loads of room drops. So yeah, let's uh, let's take that up. So now we'll go escape, continue, and now it means if we crash, it immediately puts us back in this room. And then we go like that, and it didn't crash. We got coffee. With coffee, with the speed we currently have, is very very nice. Okay. We're going to have to start using bagger crafting a little more now. Now, I do wonder if it's going to be a crash sort of more reliant on random chance of what item it ends up giving us. Like, if it's from a different mod, will it have any issues? I'm really not sure. We'll find out, though. Um, for now, I'm just going to kind of leave my flies to, to do their business while I um, I grab some coins and stuff from here. I might be able to get enough to craft something or enough to buy from the shop. Probably rather buy from the shop, to be honest. Shops have been very good to us recently. We need to go and bomb that Dom Mc2 and see what we get. Right. Grab that bomb as well. Ow. Walk straight into a fire. Yes, please. Bucket of lard. Honestly, yes. I'll take bucket of lard. I have really, really good speed already. And plus two heart containers just means more fodder for devil deals, which I find is going to be pretty damn useful. Right. Dormamic. Were you at the, the, the room all the way to the right and up? I believe you were. Nope, it is gone. <laughs> sometimes that happens, where the, the sometimes they stay around until until you come back. Sometimes they disappear. I'm not quite sure if that's on purpose or not. Tears have a one in twenty percent chance to have all tier effects. Ooh. Not that we have any tier effects right now, but that is awesome. I like the idea of that. Like, let's try and go to our shop here. I just want to be clearing more rooms, anyways, because like more chance for consumables. Oh, I, should, I keep calling them consumables. I should say pickups. More chance for pickups that uh, I can take into my bag of crafting. We have 1 in 20 chance to get all tier effects and bonus damage on a tier. That's a trinket I can get behind. Ooh, I got stuck on the wall there. Oh, that's bad. That's, yeah, I was about to say we're going to lose a burn heart here. But it did not lose our devil deal chance. So I don't particularly mind. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. So let's, let's plant a bomb here. There we go. And I think we'll just buy jumper cables. Basically, I'm investing for the future right now. While jumper cables and, and car battery do absolutely nothing for bag of crafting, if I get a, a more damage-orientated spacebar item that comes up a little later on, I think it's going to be highly valuable for us to uh, switch out to that. Because, yeah, jumper cables, car battery is going to lead to some, some lean, mean fighting machine. Whoa, did you see that then? That guy hit me, but he clearly didn't hit me. <laughs> Um, then in here, ooh, we've got some good stuff in here. Uh, we have Void Bombs, which I very much like. Demon Baby, you can stay there, but Void Bombs... Also, can we just appreciate the respirated devil here? Looks so good. Um, yeah, we got we got ourselves some Void Bombs, which I think are really, really good. Secret room-wise, we might... I, I'm going to go back just because we might have the opportunity to get into the Curse Room, which definitely speaks to me. Loving how our character looks right now. Okay, so no, we don't have an opportunity to get into the cash room. So, question is, where do we have left? Now, we have a few different options. Obviously, here's like a reasonable option. I actually don't know, to be honest. Let's just go with the where I think the second secret room is, which I believe to be here. There you go. And we'll leave it at that. We get ourselves, okay, we get ourselves some good bag of crafting stuff here. So let's uh, go boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way up. What's this card exactly? Mum's ID. 
Unfortunately, we can't see. Let's just uh, let's just go for all of this. Let's just let's just grab it all. So let's go. First of all, give me that trinket back. I want to keep that. We'll snap that up. Snap that up. Snap that up. Snap that and that. That and that. And then we will craft an item. It does it does kind of tell us the recipes of things that were. So I think based on our recipe here, we're gonna get burn hurting juice. By the looks of things. We can actually um, scroll down these. But yeah, I think we're going to get Burn Hurt and Juice here. So let's try it out. Oh, we didn't. We got Balrog's Head. And I actually think, despite Bag of Crafting being pretty good, we got one, two, three, four, five, six left in here. Okay. Despite Bag of Crafting being pretty good, I think Balrog's Head with our current uh, setup is going to be much, more, much, much better. I just need to check. Does it throw two of them? I can't tell. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Despite what I just said, ignore me. Balrog's head is good, but I don't think it works the car battery. And that was kind of the biggest intention behind my actions there. Um, the biggest reasoning, should I say. I'd rather keep Bag of Crafting if we're not getting a car battery defect, which I honestly couldn't tell if we were, so... Right, should, should we just go, like, absolute craftaholic and just try and craft as many things as we possibly can? Like, we'll literally take every single drop we get into the bag of crafting. And not having HP here is a little annoying, but I'm almost certain that we have uh, half a soul heart remaining right now. Ooh, Gimpy for free. Nice. I very much like a free Gimpy. Oh, nice. I revealed the, uh, the chest here for free as well, which is... Tickety boo. Right. Let's get you guys. Boom, boom, bow. And then we'll craft it up. I already had Undefined, you biatch. <laughs> like, the game already gave me Undefined. You're only going to give me Undefined again? I really should pick it up just to make sure the game doesn't give me it again. But I thought they removed that in Repentance, anyways. But. I don't know. Right. Anyways, let's, uh. Pick it up, drop it down. A little bit of a shame to get so many active items here, but. While we've got enough consumables to do what we want to do, I'm just literally picking up everything. Uh, also, if we just go. Bow. I love the sprite for those bombs, by the way. The sprite is incredible. Oh, I need to remember that Bag of Crafting can do that. Bag of Crafting can reach over rocks. It's kind of like Forgotten Swing. You can use it, even if you're not crafting anything, you can use it to open chests and grab stuff from behind, uh, from behind walls. Do you know what I do wonder? I was just about to say, it doesn't matter. It's been completely confirmed for me. I was wondering if the, 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 the fire from the pepper counted as an effect and so would therefore be triggered on that tier that we have. The, uh, the tier that, that triggers everything we have at once, but it doesn't. It doesn't technically count as a tier effect, which makes sense because it doesn't. It's not actually a tier effect. Ah, <gasps> every time I see a spike chest now, I'm like, ooh, one of my items from my item pools. Are we gonna get the virus here? No. Okay, so I think it tried to spawn the virus because I did see it for a second. And then it was like, wait, you already have the virus. So it gave us roid rage. So we are, we are now on four syringes. When's double spun? Spun two. Electric boogaloo. But yeah, at the minute, we're kind of sitting pretty with uh, with our damage and stuff. It's kind of crazy considering, really. Because, oh, also, I can't even reach that. So I'm just going to go like that. Uh, Gimpy's really good because we can get a bunch of red hearts. Which is going to be good for crafting more and more, more and more items. Oh, I fucking hate these stupid, stupid things. Some grimaces gotta go, people. They gotta go. Let's try and get another card out of these. Or a black heart. I'll definitely take that. Stop giving me active items, you fuck. <laughs> it's like a formula that I keep messing with that keeps giving me black... Uh, keeps giving me uh, active items for some reason. 
sorry, I have a song in my head right now. Do you know the the singer The Weeknd? I'm sure almost everyone on planet Earth has heard of The Weeknd. Um, but I don't know how many of you out there watch uh, American Dad. I actually, when I was younger, like most people, I used to watch more Family Guy, and then it kind I kind of either I either grew up or just realised it was kind of stupid and shit. Um, sorry to any of you that like it still, but I think it's terrible. Uh, now at least. I, 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 I think it was always terrible. I think I was just younger before. <laughs> um, hey, there you go, Ver uh, Virgo. That's a Dominic right there. Um, yeah, uh, I kind of... Oh, active items. Go away. I, I, I literally have the mod that makes it so that active items don't spawn as much. And they're still spawning just as much. It's very frustrating. Um, some few pennies there. But yes, I kind of uh, started watching American Dad more. And I, I even now, I, I think American Dad's fantastic. I think it's really underrated. It's re I mean, I say underrated. It's it's loved by a lot of people. But yeah, I think I think it doesn't quite get the credit it deserves. Because uh, it's just like, oop, it's a Seth MacFarlane thing. It's going to be shit like Family Guy. And it's actually not. Um, uh, full hearts equals yum heart. Okay. I kind of should have known that. Um... Yeah, and I, I've been watching that recently, and in one of the, like, the more recent episodes, I wouldn't say it's a recent episode, but in one of the more recent episodes, The Weeknd is on it as, like, a guest star as himself, and he, um, he sings a song about being a virgin, and, oh, it's, it's just fantastic. It's, I, 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 like, that's another thing about, um, about American Dad, for those of you that, that may not like it or whatever, or may not know about it as much, it's got really, really really good music <laughs> like they they have quite a few like of their own songs and they're really good <laughs> which is kind of rare for a tv show like that that's just trying to be a comedy but that's kind of like my favorite sort of mindless watching show <laughs> i have a lot of those to be fair i've, I've spoken at length before about the fact that i just constantly re-watch series I think I spoke about it a while ago now, but it's, it's it's been a while, so there might be new viewers or people that haven't heard. But I remember once uh, one of the shows that I I watch quite often, like on this sort of loop of watching things, is um, I watch uh, How I Met Your Mother. Ooh, do we want a full reroll? I <sighs> part of me does, but a lot of me doesn't. Like, oh, really? I just. I should have just put that spirit heart in the bag. I'm like, I kind of do, but I actually have some really interesting stuff going on right now with my build. I'll see what I'm like by the end of this floor. We'll see. <gasps> nice. Oh, wait, no. I'd rather have my trinket, I'll be honest. Um, I'll reroll my trinket anyways, what if I do the, uh, if I do the D6 room. But yeah, like, so one of the shows I watch quite a lot is, is How I Met Your Mother. And it's because, like... I very first started watching it when it first aired on TV, like, when, when I was, like, what would I be, like, 12? 11? Something like that? I was young. I don't remember how young, but... So I watched it from, like, the get-go. And so it's it's very much, like, become kind of a comfort show for me. Um... Oh, Broken Murdom. Awesome. I knew Golden Pennies have really, really high, um... Like, they're, they're, if, you, if you take in a Golden Penny, it's gonna give you something good. Same with, like, Eternal Hearts or Black Hearts. You're gonna get good stuff if you put one of them in, so I thought, why not? I don't think I can reach any of those, but what I can do is this. Okay. Um, yeah, and... It become a real. It became a real comfort show for me, and it, it kind of still is. Um, and I, I was watching it. Um, I say recently. It was probably like last year now. Um, and I don't know how many of you are into The Last of Us. The Last of Us One is one of my favorite games of all time, and surprisingly, The Last of Us Two is also one of my favorite games of all time. Like, it. it I, I, I'm not gonna go into length about it because I've spoken about it before. And it just, it just gets me annoyed. <laughs> it ends up making me rant. But it does not deserve anything close to the hate it received. Um, or the negative anything it received. I thought it was wholeheartedly very, 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 very good. Um, what's this? Spawns a wisp with a homing tea. With homing tears upon killing enemy. These wisps are removed. 
Upon killing an enemy, these wrists are okay. Sounds good. I like it. Um. Ooh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. This is a really interesting idea for an item. Um. But yes. Um. So I, I played the Last of Us, and I don't know how many of you have played it, but I won't spoil. But there's a very, very emotional thing that happens, especially if you played the first game. Um, oh my god, that's a lot of wisps. I like this. <laughs> um, there's a very emotional thing that happens, and it's very much tied to a song. Um, it's it's a song by Pearl Jam. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, it's Future Days by Pearl Jam. Um, and, oh my life, I was watching How I Met Your Mother. This is after having played Last of Us 2. And it was like a good while after as well. But that was still like an emotional thing that with the song that stuck in my head. And Pearl Jam, Our Future Days, comes on during quite an emotional scene in the last season of the show. And I was just like, oh my lord. The box? The box is actually pretty good because we could scoop some stuff up out of it. Um, I can't scoop trinkets, sadly. But yeah, like quite, quite an emotional scene that plays Pearl Jam, Our Future Days. And then like just... I, I, I'm, for those of you that don't know, I'm someone that never cries at, like, TV or films or something. I just don't, I just, I don't know why, I just never have. I, I get emotional, but I've never really, like, cried over stuff like that. And this happened, and I was home alone at the time, I was just on my own. Uh, Blue Baby. Let's do that. Ooh, Zappy's Kiss, nice. Uh, yeah, I was on my own at the time, and... The emotion of the Last of Us 2 thing, plus the emotion of the actual, like, show, my comfort show itself, both kind of hit at the same time, and I was like, oh my lord, I am a mess. <laughs> I am an absolute mess now, goddamn. It's kind of crazy how, like, TV shows and stuff like that can have that sort of effect on you. It, it, it's, it's really weird. It's, it's, it's not the same for me with films, especially, but more TV shows, like, especially ones in which you, you've you watched before, I feel like that somehow adds to it. When you've watched them before, you kind of... You have a bit more emotional attachment to the characters, um, and a bit more emotional attachment to, to just generally the, uh, the show itself. So when something, like, really emotional happens, it can really get you. Or at least it does with me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna say, ooh, full heart container. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> it was too much for me, and I was just bawling. B bawling as in crying, not bawling as in, like, gangster bawling. <laughs> that would be a bit weird. Um, right, almost got enough. Oh, I don't have any bombs, shit. Right, I'll, I'll at least go to this room, though, whoa! Do you know what? These these wisps are so good. They're giving us, like, protection. Good. Little chest. Come to me, my little buddy. Akeldama, help me. By the way, I don't... I should, but I don't have the Akeldama Synergy mod on right now. Um, Because I had some issues with it. I should probably reinstall that. It's likely been updated by now. Uh, but let's, let's keep her going anyways. But yeah, do any of you have any, like... TV shows or whatever that you've you've watched a bunch of times, but this is, the emotional scenes still get you every time. Really should be taking some keys to actually pick up at this point. Broken Modem's helping out with bag of crafting a lot as well. I've noticed. Ooh, speed run. Yeah, this, this is why we need keys. <laughs> I keep scooping them all up straight away and not really thinking about the fact that I don't have any. Okay, take those. Kind of weird that we got double missing posters there, but there you go. And we'll grab those two. Something that was really interesting to find out and, and we'll kind of, you'll see this when we go into it on the podcast when that comes out, but was, when we were speaking with Kilburn, I don't know how many of you watch, like, Slay, uh, the guy that does, uh, or, or, like, Isaac Guru, the people that do, like, the Isaac tips and tricks videos and, like, show off different details. I think it was in one of Isaac Guru's videos. It might have been Slay's, though. I don't remember. Um, he, they, they showed off a, a really cool interaction in which you can get glitched items by, um, having more options, um, and Magneto 
with Broken Murdom. And uh, everyone's like, oh, that's a really specific but interesting um, interesting synergy. I wonder why they coded that. They didn't. Kilburn said that was somehow completely accidental. Like, the way that, uh, the way that more options, like, assigns... Um, oh, hello. The way that more options assigns... It's like the extra option apparently shares some code with the way that glitched items spawn. Um, and be because there was never a way to open a chest manually and get a glitch chest, he never really thought about it. But because with Magneto, you can automatically open chests and get an item on the, um, on the chest in the dark place, the dark room, it ended up being a really, really fucky and weird way of these items spawning that he hadn't thought of and put an exception in for. So now there's this like really specific trick you can do to get glitched items if you have a very, very specific set of items on the chest and dark uh, dark room that is completely unintended, but he was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave that in. That's really cool. Ooh, this is a this is slightly better. Um Can I ask why we're getting doubled everything now? Like I'm, I, I'm right in thinking Broken Murdom shouldn't be doing that, right? Why am I getting doubled items exactly? I'm a bit confused. That's not how Broken Murdom works, is it? I didn't think. Hmm. Yeah, like, look, everything... We don't have contract from below, yet everything spawning is a double. Hmm. Very peculiar. Like, look at that. I really should pick those keys up. I need to remember. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I think it's something to do with speedrun. Okay, so found souls just a little bit better. Alright, pick up these keys. Apparently found souls introducing some lag though. And that's kind of surprising. Well, this is just going to lead to a hell of a lot of crafted items, isn't it? Wait. My little buddy has back a crafting too. How does this work? Um. Can he craft his own items? That's going to be weird. Hmm. 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 This is going to be strange. I don't know how this is going to work. Hmm. I, yeah, I am, I am perplexed by how everything's working right now. Okay. This guy's got conquest on him. Get him. Then you as well. Nice item there. Excuse me. Pick that up. Please, thank you. I, I also think we have double Akeldama as well, which seems to be causing some strangeness. Our Akeldama is, like, just very, very long and, like, positioned incorrectly, too. And we're also getting double the amount of Wisps, too. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on with this found soul, buddy. Ow. All sorts of janky shit happening right now. Give me that. Come in here. Oh! How do, how on earth did that crash my game? Come on now, game. We back in this. Okay. So we are going to have to start this floor over again. I'm just not going to pick up Found Soul this time, because it seems to be causing some serious issues. We got Polydactyl. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think I think having two back of craftings was, was getting the game all sorts of confused. Whoa, what the hell happened then? I think I just walked into the spikes, to be honest. It's a lot of batteries.
That's a lot of battery charges right there. Tears up. Don't know where that came from, but I'll take it. It seems that Care to Conquest is actually uh, scripted, like it's seeded. So I got I got the same conquest on that set on that next room there, as I did when before from before it crashed. I wasn't expecting. Normally stuff like that isn't seeded, but it's good that it is. Take all this. Okay, so we're probably gonna get different items from back at crafting than we did last time, but that's also fine. Yep, common cold's good for me. There's a Dom Nick here this time. That wasn't there last time. See? Do these chests... Okay, I was just going to say, do they have the same contents? No, they do not. Right, what you got for us? Good stuff. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll get Tech Pie, which is very strong. And we'll keep it going. We have a Soul of Eden to play around with, which we can use on a crafted item. Yeah, I'm trying to take in these Soul Stones here, because we can get some wacky stuff with the Soul Stones. Yeah, grab all them. Oop, there's a, a look up pill in there. Forgot about that. More keys. Where's the look up pill? It was in here. Gone. Wait, no, it, it says it's in here. Where is it? Oh, it's on the fire, that's why. I just can't see it, it's hidden by flames. Ow. This blank's really helped me out, though. So, Potato Peeler is definitely a Soul of Eden, and we got a Zizzle's Rage here. I like that. What's going on with the mapping, by the way? I keep gaining and losing mapping. Do I have an item that's creating extra rooms or something here? And special delivery. We're getting a lot of actives out of it, which I kind of, although like I do understand for balance reasons, they can't just straight up remove all actives from Bag of Crafting, but I do think it's kind of dumb that Bag of Crafting can give you actives considering it's an active itself. Like, as Tainted Cane, obviously it doesn't matter. But regularly, also we do have to do Hush here. Regularly, it's like, hmm, um... Well, yeah, I'm not gonna cra craft an active that I then replace, so... Uh, oh, this is not great. Uh, I guess I'll take you. And I guess I'll take you. Oh, we can actually hit multiple rocks there by placing it, like, here. Damn it. Right, let's crack these open. Right, good, good. Oh, damn, that's all the soul has. Let's grab that one, at least. Again, another active there. Good, good. Thanks for that. Ah, oh, that's a damage up. I like that. Right. Do this thing. Do this thing. Do this thing. I don't know how well we're going to fare against this guy, I'll be honest. But with the fires, probably pretty well. The fires and the laser should hold us. I know I should have brought my bombs in here instead of using all the rocks, but there you go. Yeah, fires and laser. Also, broken burden, too. Broken burden's gonna help a lot as well. I always forget how good it is on this fight. We should be able to sit here for quite a long duration. I don't really care about getting hit because you've just activated my trap card. Okay, can you stop somehow hitting me? That'd be nice. I don't mind, but like, stop. But yeah, as you can see, we've done a ton of damage already. We should be to like, be close enough to not get hit. Clo far, far enough way to not get hit, close enough to make sure our fire's hit. I like how little fly is doing just a fantastic job here as well. Also, Dark Bum 
as we kill stuff, he, he's, he's going to be grabbing uh, fires. Fires? No. Hearts. Here, there, and everywhere. Apparently, you can't drop any that are below his body, though. So, below Hush's body, that is. Either way, let's dream and beam this man. I was hoping a Zezel of Rage would proc when we walked in here, but I think that's the room after. Hush fights such a... I, I think... I think both Hush and Delirium need reworks. I think Hush is, is good. It's on the right tracks. But it's one of these fights where there is potential to literally sit still and never move. <laughs> like, I realize I have quite a specific build that allows me to do that right now with Broken Murder and the Fires. But even on normal ones, you really don't have to move all that much. Um, and yeah, it kind of creates this sort of weird situation where it's not a very interactive boss fight and then delirium's kind of the opposite it moves too much and it's too interactive of a boss fight you don't get a chance to breathe it, the, the, it's weird there's, there's issues with both and they, they both need to be sort of tweaked or sorted i think i think hush less so but it would still be nice to see the hush fight change oh thank you a black heart and a holy card that's actually like some of the greatest stuff you possibly could have given me I lost it already, but you know, it's the gesture. Stop with the lasers, goddamn. Bop, 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 bop. Right, we're good to go, and we are going to Blue Baby. We actually did hush, nice. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy. Rec in in like the recent few episodes, ooh, nice. In the recent few episodes, about the fact that the lag seems to be far better unless our run is ridiculous. Like, th I wouldn't say it's perfect. Like, I'm still getting some lag. But it's way, way less than it was prior. And that is, like I said, I think it's been some, for some reason due to the better doors mod. Well, this is kind of a... I like this room. It's, it's, a, it's a hard room. Bit of a puzzle with speed, though. Makes it quite a lot easier. You're going to create a pill for me, thank you. Thank you for that. Danger room, also another way of getting consumables. Not bad. Not bad at all. God damn. These fires are wrecking you up, boys. Nope, that's mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Beautiful brimstone goodness. Beautiful brimstone goodness. And look for apparently too. Nice. Whoopsie, wrong way. This this floor looks so much better. So much better with this mod on. Like I love the 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 stained glass windows and the and the reflection kind of reaching up to the top of the uh of the of the area now normally that doesn't happen it looks insane i don't know if i've seen the actual chest yet though we'll have to see god damn there's a lot of brimstone for that guy to eat up mysterious egg i remember when i had that with bff and i fucking loved it Nope, mine. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I know you, I know you really want to help, but I'm helping myself to some items right now. Is that not it? What's left? Oh, there you go. I love it when I'm like looking for the enemy to uh, to kill, and I accidentally just oh what the hell? I've got a chance to fly. There you go. Um, I'm looking for the enemy that I need to kill, and I'm like oh wait, I can just uh, kill it with this laser beam that's sticking out of my face at all times. Yeah, I'm not really worried all too much about all these shots coming in here. I'm just gonna let them let them be. My little my little charmed worm buddy is gonna get you. Oh my god, we are annihilating him. Holy hell. I killed him with bag of crafting. Just a flex. Just a flex on him. Right, what items will we get today? Boom. Explosivo, love it. Rocket in a jar, I don't care. Okay, whatever. It's good enough. 
Now, can question is, can this laser attach explosivo shots? I'm gonna bet yes. Yes, it can. That's very overpowered. I love it. Okay, you ought to stop hitting me, guys. Let's try and pick up some HP as we get it now. Oh, I forgot. Chests aren't going to contain items anymore. Ah, uh, sorry. They are going to contain items. They're not going to con contain, um... Consumables anymore. Pickups. God, my brain is melting today. I don't know what's going on. I like the fact that we keep getting doubled trinkets as well here. Boom, bow, oh ho ho, oh ho ho. This is gonna be good. Oh yes. More poison, we literally have every poison item. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at it. That was beautiful. Bag of crafting has provided us with many, many items this run. It's been very good. A lot of them have been trash. <laughs> Granted, I've not taken that many of them, but it's provided us with a lot of options, which I appreciate. The D6, you say? No, thank you. Hello. I'm loving Parasite right now. Parasite's just generally one of my favorite items now that it works with technology and brimstone. It was always one of my favorites because I just like anything that provides you with more abilities to fire tears. Which this it basically does. But it's it's really get, brought itself into the forefront with its newfound abilities and synergies. Especially with Explosivo here. Got a lot of good stuff going on with Explosivo here. B bombs. We have some good bombs going on right now. Okay, boss should be any. Yeah, I was about to say, any room now. Is that double hero font there? That it is. Yes, I was hoping we'd get this for the boss. Stay away from me, heathen. Get ready to explode. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, we even got double victory chests. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.